Hey guys, welcome to Tony's How To's. In this video, I will show you how to create deep fake videos and MOBA. But before we start, hurry up and check out our latest offer just under this video. So let's get started. So if you're wondering if you could actually create deep fake videos using your mobile, well, this one is actually possible. But we'll have to use our browser for this one and accessing a very, very specific link. So in here, let's just go ahead and open up our mobile and you have to enter or go to the following website. So in this case, it's going to be replicate.com, but they also have another extension of that URL. So we'll be adding that or we'll, leave, we'll be leaving a link in the description where you could also check our newest offer. So make sure that you check the description below and check for the link as well as the uh, latest offer that we have right now. Now, once you've gone to that specific link, the next thing that we want to do is provide the changes or the photos or the assets that we want to use. So in here, let's just scroll down a bit and you'll see the input section. So in this case, you will have to upload your image. So in this case, if you have an image that you want to animate, so in this case, this is going to be the base of the fake video that you are currently using then you have to upload your image here so in this case let's just upload our image here just choose files and just choose the image that you want to use now when we scroll down a bit we now have the driving video so the driving video is going to be the one that actually drives the whole video. So it's going to be the animations that the animation that's going to be used on the image itself that we just uploaded before. So in this case, let's just click on drop a file or click to upload here. Just click on files. Let's just go to videos and from here, let's just choose the video that we want to use. So in this case, we have this video here. Now from here, we want to scroll down a bit. We also have the data set or data set name here. So there's gonna be a few things that you could use here. But personally, I just use the default one, which is Vox here. So just retain that one. Now from here, what you need to do is you just need to hit on submit and it's going to start processing your video. So the output will actually be displayed at the very bottom of your screen here that just says output. So I do have to inform you, it takes about three to five minutes for them to process your video. So just wait patiently and you'll be able to receive your video. So a, a few things that you should remember here. Sometimes the uh, the fake that we are doing right now, it's not going to be perfect. So I would suggest you to use videos that is actually front facing to get more success on the fake video that you you are currently uh, or you're planning to create so that you'll get more uh, successes so if that doesn't work maybe you might want to change your data set name here as well and experiment on the output itself but yeah so a few things uh, you have to also remember so make sure that you be responsible on what you are currently uh, planning on doing on deepfake. This is just for educational purposes. Like if you want to experiment on uh, deepfake videos, because uh, deepfake videos is actually uh, based on a an AI, which is really cool right now. But yeah, so here, let's just click on submit to start the process. So once your video actually process or has completed the process, you'll be able to see your video here. And from here, you could just start playing your video. Also at the very below, you also have the logs here. So you'll be able to see the uh, current uh, process going on with the uh, processing of your video here as well. So if you play your video here, sometimes it would look very horrifying. So that's why I suggested you to uh, experiment on the output, change the photos or try a different video or even change the data set itself. But yeah, and that's about it. So thank you for watching. If you have any questions, feel free to ask in the comment section. If you enjoyed this video and found it helpful, you could use the link in the description to subscribe. See you in the next video.